Hey there YouTube, Wrestling Optimus here, back with another build video. I got so much positive feedback from my custom dailies place that I decided to build a Thunderdome as well for my WWE figures, and today I'm going to show you how I did it. But first, if you're new here, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more pro wrestling and action figure content. Now, let's get building. First, I wanted the Thunderdome to fit on my air hockey table exactly how my dailies place currently does. That meant the base was going to be roughly the same size. I found this box that I thought was going to work without modifications, but I was wrong. So I grabbed a razor blade and got to work. I didn't need to change the shape of the original box, just shrink it in size. Still, I ended up cutting off a lot more than I expected, but pictured here is the end result top, bottom, and four sides. Just like my other builds, I started with the basic structure and secured all the pieces with our old pal duct tape. But before I sealed up the front, I wanted to show off the braces that I put in place so the stage wouldn't sink in the middle. Always reinforce your designs. Then I taped up the entire thing to give it a metallic look. However, I decided to be lazy and not paint it this time. Also pictured is the toy stage and ramp that serves as the centerpiece of this build, just like how my AEW stage was built around a Titantron Live. Unlike in Daly's place, where the stage is level with the ring, the Thunderdome has a ramp, so I needed to make one. Easy enough though, I just used some of the leftover cardboard from the original box and put it together with some more duct tape. Next, I found some large pieces of cardboard and used them to make a back and side to the stage. No, that's not paint, it's red and blue duct tape because remember, I'm lazy. Then, I outlined everything by using black electrical tape on the seams. With the entrance way back on, it was time to add some graphics. As you can see, I chose the background colors to represent both Raw and SmackDown, and I found logos which feature each brand's channel, USA and Fox respectively. This way, I can use the stage for either show, and of course, can't forget the Thunderdome branding. And here's the final product on the air hockey table, complete with ring and Lego audience. Both this and my dailies place are self-contained and movable, so I can easily swap them out for each other depending on what the situation calls for. And yes, since I finished this in time for the show of shows, I had to make a WrestleMania sign for above the entrance. Finally, just for scale, here's the new day, breaking in my new stage, and baptizing it with the power of positivity. New. Day rocks. New. Day rocks. Alright, that'll do it for my custom Thunderdome build. Thanks so much for watching, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I'll be back tomorrow with my action figure review of AEW Dynamite, so definitely check that out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to do all that normal YouTube stuff. Smash the like button, share with any wrestling or action figure fans you may know, subscribe to the channel, and spread the word. You can also talk to me over on Twitter at WrestlingOptimus, or see all my best figure photography over on Instagram at WrestlingOptimus. If you want to see my custom dailies place build, you can check that out right here. But until next time, I've been Wrestling Optimus, and I'll catch you later.